Sorry, Christy Harris has been educating women on how to become their own makeup artist for years now. She's joining us today with tips that'll take years off your face and get you ready for fall at the same time. Please welcome Christy and from our studio audience, Monaco Zambrano. <laughs> All right, so uh, a lot of us love makeup, but sometimes we can get it on and it looks good, but we can make it look better. Exactly, and most women have a door full of makeup, and it's stuffed in the back if there's colors that you may not know what to do with, and I'm going to share with you three tips that I think are very, very important for us to all know that will really lift our face. Now, on our beautiful model today, what we've already done is we've prepped her face. We have done, uh, we did a cream foundation, we did highlight underneath the eyes. A lot of times we'll get those darker circles, uh -huh. and we all have them. I mean, we all work late, we can get little broken capillaries. So we want to start with the perfect canvas. You know when you're painting a portrait and you have a perfect canvas, you can paint a young person or you can paint an old person. I, you know, it's all in the contouring and highlighting. So what we first did was we contoured her cheek, we uh, lifted in this area. If you can see really close how this actually draws the face up. Right. Can right. you see the difference? Right. So you have to start with that. And then what we want to do, and you can see what we do with her brow. Brows are the frame for the face. Yeah. It's, and it's, you can either lift the whole deal, your right. eye or make it look lower. Exactly. You can do your makeup perfect, but if the eye is not balanced, it's like a, a big house with a little roof. Uh -huh. You know, it just doesn't <laughs> work. So. We did her brow, and uh, it's called Precision Brow Planning, which I think we're going to share with you in a moment. Yeah. But the first thing we want to do is always, no matter what, if you're, if you're, when you're doing your eye, just go over it with a light color eyeshadow. That is going to be your primer. And then brushes are very important. You can take any color brown. Uh, always choose sort of the base of your hair color. If you're blonde like me, uh, you know, you still have a little base, right? <laughs> Every two weeks. Uh, Every two right? weeks, right, exactly. I wouldn't put gray on her, though. <laughs> so we're going to put a brown, and if you notice, I'm not going in her crease. I'm going above the crease. Ah, because normally what we do is we try right. to stick it right in that crease. Exactly, and then that, sh that sh uh, closes the eye. So it's like a backward seven. Then I'm going to, right where I put it, I'm going to blend it like a windshield wiper. And see, this is where a lot of us get in trouble, Christy, when you say blending. And then I just saw you right. use your finger, right. which is, I was going to say, sometimes it, that can just help you blend it a little exactly. bit better. Or, or the right brush, if you exactly. know the right the brush The brushes are very important. And then look on the lid. What I'm going to do is bring out that lid with a very light color. You may think, oh, I want a smoky eye. Well, you can get a smoky eye, but you want to also open that lid and have an anti-aging look. And then you can take an angle brush with even the same color that we did the contour. And if you just place that right here, have you seen those little lift wedges that, get, that artists get right there? Look how uh -huh. easy that is. Yeah, and that's and also that where lifts. if you want to apply like a strong color mm -hmm. to do it as a little accent as opposed right. to all over. Right, just right there. So you want your accent here, you want your highlight here. Then eyeliner, uh, you can take a pencil. And if you notice what a difference this can make. Her eyes, if you look in the camera, sweetie, if your eye turns down just a little bit, we can turn that right up. And I'm going to do that with a black pencil. A cold pencil is good because that will eliminate it from smearing. And I notice that you're pulling the eye taut on the end, which right. is a great way for us to get that line on there. Right. And you, we already did eyeliner, but see how that balances that up. Now, if you'll look right into the camera here, I'm going to color the pink ridge of her eye. Look straight up, sweetie. And I'm going to go inside. And if you'll look at the difference of one side, look at this, how it looks like it's turning down. Oh, yeah. Look how that turns you up. Oh, Isn't yeah. Isn't that amazing? Those yeah. little tricks. Just by going inside. Now, even mm -hmm. if you have a smaller eye, uh -huh. just going inside, okay? It, it, that is a great question because a lot of times we've been told don't go on the inside. But when you're, when you're doing your contouring for the eye, you're lifting. Everything you put on your face should never go horizontal. Everything should be lifted. That's what we want. We want that face lift, right? And she's young. She's beautiful. I mean, look at her. She looks great without makeup. Right, right. But it's those little tricks that make a, that make a big difference. Let's talk about also beautiful eyes. Let's talk about um, blush because sometimes people go real shiny, real right. bright colors. Right. Other times they try to do what they think is contouring and it almost looks muddy or, or you want to contour dirty. first to achieve that lift. And believe it or not, your brighter colors are better. You want something that looks like you've just pinched your cheeks, yeah. not like a rose or something that you can actually see. And a contour brush is important because if you were to use a brush like this to put on your blush, you would ruin that contouring effect. Okay. That you have so you take a brush and you go from the middle of the iris to like between your lip and your uh, nose and you go all the way back to 
the cheek uh, right here to get that that lift yeah and then you can also diffuse it a little bit with your powder you always always at the very end you want to go over a little bit with your powder yeah and then let's do lips now yes. if you want that larger lip which she doesn't really need but if you do want that pouty look if you want to extend your lip you don't extend it with a pencil that's the color of your lipstick you def you ex extend it with the color that your lip would be if you wanted it larger so I'm going to ah, correct okay. it right so try here. To match your, your lip. Match your lip. Bit. You okay. want to extend your lip. It's like it's like lip injection without seeing a, a pencil line. Then you go over it with and and you let some of that liner that lip extender show. So I really I did put some on the bottom, but I am going to bring it up straight here. You, you have want perfectly a peak. shaped lips. Yeah, she does. <laughs> you want this little peak here going uh -huh. on. Like I said, never straight across. If you do your lip liner correctly at the beginning of the day, then all you have to do perhaps is just add a little lip color, you know, with your lipstick. Now, how many of you have a lipstick that you hate, that you got maybe with a gift, or it's in the back of the yeah. drawer? Or you thought it was like, right. And, yeah. and you too, huh? Those men, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's all, all right. right. So let's say you do, you want you, an anti-aging look is you want a brighter color, but I'm going to take this horrid lip color and this would be fine you know if you were uh halloween's coming up right? yes. <laughs> so but it will give and you know with what she has on you kind of want to mute uh, it a little bit <laughs> mute it but but with what she has on now take if you just do an overlay like i'm going to do a bra uh, a topaz overlay this is so cool you can add this to any color in your drawer and really make it a pretty color for fall the fall colors, you know, brow, big full brows are in, but if you don't have brows, we can show you how you can get a, a fuller brow naturally with uh -huh. your lipstick. See how Topaz m mutes this down? Yeah. So yeah. if you have 15 lipsticks in your drawer that are bright and tacky and you don't like it, you can do one color overlay and you've got 15 to 20 new colors yeah. for fall. Yeah. And by the same token, if the effort is too dark, you can add that brighter one to it. All right. 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 Christy, you're going to stay with us because, uh, but in the meantime, for more beauty tips from Christy and to find out about upcoming in store appearances, visit ChristyHarris.com. Okay, so they're going to go back and work on the other half of your face, which I'm sure you'll appreciate, so you can go out <laughs> today. Uh, and also, we're going to talk a little bit more about those eyebrows. All right, so you guys head off backstage. So we've covered fall fashion, travel, makeup, and television. What's left? That's right, shoes, of course. Shoe designer Lisa Pliner shows us the new boots made for walking and still have high step in style, too. Yeah.